Evaluation of lead base catalyst for electrocatalytic reduction of carbon dioxide to oxalate in O8 electrolyte. This work is still in progress, and this presentation will highlight the principal aspects of the literature about the electrochemical conversion of CO2 to oxalate. The main focus of CO2 reduction is the reuse of the gas emitted by the industrial sector, which corresponds to the third biggest emitter of greenhouse gas to the atmosphere. The utilization of carbon dioxide by the industry could enable its recycling and its valorization by converting it into valuable products. Why convert CO2 to oxalate? The selective CO2 reduction to oxalate is interesting due to its applicability in several industrial sectors such as textile, hair earth, pharmaceutical, and fine chemistry industry, as well as a synthetic intermittate for the synthesis of polymers. In this context, CO2 reduction to oxalate can be considered as a crucial step for the conversion of carbon dioxide into multi-carbon compounds. The best way for doing this conversion is the electrochemical reduction of CO2 using renewable energy. These methods can operate under mute conditions of temperature and pressure and allow the control of the reaction by adjusting external parameters. In the electrochemical cell, the reduction of CO2 occurs in the cathode and the formation of oxalate is given by the one electron reduction of CO2 to its radical anion on the surface of the electrode that demerize to form oxalate. There are two possible reaction pathways of CO2 electron reduction to oxalate. In the pathway 1, the CO2 is reduced on the cathode and the anion radical is stabilized by the surface of the electrocatalyst. Then it couples with a neighboring CO2 anion radical to form a CC bond generating a surface adsorbed oxalate, and the oxalate dissolves from the surface. Pathway 2 consists in a more generic mechanism and occurs on electrocatalyst with low affinity with the CO2 radical anion. In this pathway, the CO2 molecule is adsorbed on the surface of the electrocatalyst to form the radical anion that dissolves from the metal surface and then demerizes to form oxalate in the solution. Despite the positive aspects related to obtaining oxalate from the electrochemical reduction of carbon dioxide, the energy efficiency of this conversion process is still limited by the high overpotential for the reaction and low selectivity of the catalyst. In the literature, few papers study electrocatalysts to obtain oxalate from CO2. Until the 2000s, the majority of publication was about metallic electrocatalysts in a name aqueous electrolyte. Among these metallic electrodes, metallic lead presents the higher selectivity and faradite efficiency. Although there are fewer publications in the 21st century, Instead of pre-metallic electrocatalyst, research has been developed in other types of materials, and still, lead-based electrocatalyst showed better results with improvement compared to the previous publication. Overall, it may be said that despite the great potential of oxalate, few papers in the literature study electrocatalyst for the reduction of carbon dioxide to oxalate. Furthermore, the activity and structure relationship of lead-based electrocatalyst has not yet been studied. In addition, the literature still has lacked in the study of selectivity and stability of electrocatalyst for this reaction.